This continues section 2.3, discussion of real world um, examples. And so we had we got into the middle of our um, checking example and we had created an expression here. The next thing that we want to do from this expression is I'd like to show you the commutative property because that will make our life easier. Instead of having to do these two and then get that answer and then group it with this one and then do it with this one which is the associative property, I'm going to use both the associative and the commutative property. So I'm going to commute and associate the two positive numbers, 290 and 170. And then I'm also going to associate the two negative numbers, 102 and 75. And what that allows me to do um, is it allows me to um, have a little bit easier problem to add and subtract. So going to the next page, here we see that I've already set it up. I'm adding my 290 and 170, and I'm adding up the same signs, right? So when I have the like signs, I take the absolute values, which 102 and 75 are my absolute values, and then I attach the common signs. So let's just go ahead and add 290 and 170, and we get 460 from that. And then let's add the 102 and 75, and we get 177 from that. So now we have the problem of 460 plus and this negative 177. Because don't forget, that's going to come down here, and it's going to become a negative 177. All right, now that we have those two, now I have an integer uh, addition problem where I have unlike signs. So I'm going to have the 460 absolute value of 460 here and the 177 absolute value of negative 177 here and I'm going to be doing a subtraction problem because they're opposite signs so the big one minus the small one and when I'm all done I'll keep the sign of the bigger one which is positive and this will be a positive number so I have 460 minus 177 and I can do that subtraction problem so I'll have to do some borrowing here so I'll have 10 minus 7 is 3 5 minus 7 got to do some borrowing again 15 minus 7 which is 8 and 3 minus 1 which is 2 and this is a positive so this is positive 283 dollars in her account and remember, in layman's terms, we don't have any difference there. If it were a negative, though, we'd have to express that um, in layman's terms so everybody could understand that a negative meant overdrawn. But that would be our final answer here, is that uh, Clarice has $283 left in her account. Now continuing on with our last example, example number 11 here. We have um, the setup again shown for us. And so the deep sea diver um, dives from the surface. Well, the surface of a water is considered to be zero, zero feet. And then the first dive takes the diver 125 feet below the surface, which is a negative number. And then they dive even more. Even more means they're diving more negative. So this is going to be represented by a negative 12 feet. Now, as we said before, because all these have been represented as integers, where they begin plus where they dive plus where they dive some more is going to get us the end result. So the problem that we're going to end up with here is 0 plus a negative 125 plus a negative 12 and that's going to give us our answer. Now I'm not going to write everything out um, as I should because I'm running out of time but because these are both negative ans uh, numbers I'm going to be adding them up so that's going to give me 137 and because they're the, both negative it's negative but remember negative 137 in layman terms says 137 feet below the surface and that's what we want to write for our answer is the layman's terms because that's how it was told to us in the first place and then that's how we should give it back to people that's what they're expecting so this is the math answer this is layman terms